This presentation is an overview of the content and resources for the National Science Olympiad, NSO, Division B 2018 Solar System event. The NSO 2018 National Competition will be held at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado from May 18th to 19th, 2018. My name is Claire Birch and I am a former competitor in both B and C Division Science Olympiad and a physics major at Harvard College. I am now working to develop the astronomy event materials for our middle and high school competitors. The recommended resources for this event will be discussed at the end of the presentation. The webinar and transcript are posted online and the accompanying PowerPoint presentation will be posted and available for download on the NSO website. This is the first year for the solar system in the B Division Astronomy event rotation. In 2017, the B Division Astronomy event was reached for the stars. The focus of this year's solar system event is Earth's moon and other rocky bodies of the solar system. Each team may bring two 8.5 by 11 inches two-sided pieces of paper containing information in any form from any source for use during competition. The notes may be used during all parts of the event. Each student is also permitted to bring one non-programmable calculator to perform calculations during the event. The focus for part one of this event is identification and knowledge of the geologic surface features and internal structure of the objects listed in the first section of the rules. The focus for part two of this event is demonstrating understanding and ability to apply knowledge of the physical and geologic processes associated with the solar system's geologic bodies as well as the missions and measurements made by scientists to understand these objects. The objects in the solar system included in this year's event are listed in, and listed in part one of the rules are the planets Mercury, Venus, and Mars, the moons of Earth and Mars, as well as Jupiter's moon Io, and the asteroid belt and near-Earth asteroids. Students are expected to be able to identify surface features by name and classification and to be familiar with the surface feature nomenclature systems for each object. Students should also be familiar with the history of both entire objects and hypotheses regarding their formation, as well as the geologic history of the objects and the formation of different geologic surface features. Students should understand what internal and external factors contribute to the evolution of the surfaces of these objects and be prepared to compare and contrast these characteristics. The geologic planets included in the 2018 solar system event are Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Students should be familiar with the internal, surface, and atmospheric composition and evolution of these objects with a focus on their geologic properties. It is important for students to develop an understanding of the concept of years, days, and seasons on each of these planets, as well as understanding of the history of the inner solar system and the events that may have contributed to the evolution of each. Questions about the Earth will be limited to Earth's relationship with the Moon, as will be discussed later on in this presentation. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system, and the innermost. Mercury orbits the Sun in a 3-2 resonance, meaning it rotates three times for every two times it orbits the Sun. Mercury is a differentiated body, meaning it is massive enough and was hot enough for a long enough period of time for materials of different densities to layer themselves from the inside out under the influence of Mercury's gravitational field. Mercury's density is second only to Earth's and is attributed to the abundance of heavy elements like silicon in the mantle and iron in the massive core, which makes up 55% of Mercury's volume. It is possible that Mercury once had a much greater volume but lost its less dense outer layers to a violent collision with another body or by intense interactions with the protosun early in its evolution. Mercury's surface is heavily cratered and exhibits ridges, ridges called dorsa, as well as highlands, mountains, and plains. Its surface geology is characterized by pyroclastic deposits, vents, and hollows indicative of a volcanic history. Mercury's calorous basin is its most notable surface feature. Mercury has been studied primarily by the Mariner missions 40 years ago meaning the recent MESSENGER mission has provided new insights on Mercury's surface ge geology for the first time in decades. Venus is the second largest terrestrial planet and has the longest day in the solar system, equal to over 240 Earth days. Additionally, Venus rotates in the opposite direction that it orbits the Sun, unlike most solar system objects. The reason for this angular momentum-defying behavior is unknown, 
but many scientists believe it can be attributed to a collision with a large body early in Venus's evolution. Most scientists believe Venus and Earth have similar core mantle crust structures, but that the lack of a strong magnetic field on Venus may contribute to an absence of core solidification. Very little is known about the interior of Venus, in part because its exterior conditions make it so difficult to study. Venus's thick atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide and results in a surface atmospheric pressure nearly 100 times that of Earth's surface. Thermal inertia and heat transfer via wind control the atmospheric dynamics on the surface of Venus, while higher clouds of sulfuric compounds reflect most incoming light and break down small meteors before they can impact the surface. Venus's surface geology has been shaped primarily by volcanoes and craters, with craters formed in relatively recent history in nearly pristine condition, indicating global crust recycling and decline of volcanism within the last 300 million years. Mars, the red planet, is geologically similar to Earth, but has only about one-ninth the mass. The core of Mars is dense and metallic, similar to Earth's, but is composed of iron and nickel with significant amounts of sulfur and other lighter elements in comparison with Earth. This core is surrounded by a mantle that contributes to surface volcanism and tectonics, which are relatively suppressed by Mars's thick crust. The surface of Mars has been studied in detail by flyby, orbital, and lander missions, and has been mapped in more detail than Earth's ocean floor. The surface of Mars is characterized by a reddish color due to the abundance of ferrous, or iron-containing minerals, but also exhibits darker regions and polar ice caps. Craters, scarps, and glacial plains are among the most notable features of Mars's surface, the most famous being the large Hellas impact basin. Mars has a thin carbon dioxide atmosphere, about 1 one hundredth as, thi as thick as Earth's. The major satellites that are included in the 2018 version of Solar System are those lo large rocky satellites that have dynamic and very different surface geologies, as well as fascinating histories of formation and evolution. The satellites included in this year's version of the rules are Earth's moon, Mars's moons Phobos and Deimos, and Jupiter's moon Io. The moon has a differentiated internal structure, a fact that was surprising to many scientists given its size, composition, and distance from the sun. Many scientists believe that a large impact early in the moon's history provided the necessary heat for the differentiation and a, the emergence of a plagioclase-rich, or lighter, crust atop a mafic mantle. Moonquakes, the equivalent of earthquakes on the moon, are caused not by tectonics, but rather from the thermal expansions and contractions as the moon rotates and continues to cool internally, as well as from tidal stresses caused by Earth. You may have heard people reference the dark side of the moon, or the side of the moon we never see from Earth. The moon is tidally locked with Earth, meaning the same side always faces Earth and has a synchronous orbit, meaning its rotation period and orbital period are the same. The geology of the moon, the study of which is called selenology, is characterized primarily by cratering and volcanism. Features known as highlands, dark plains called maria, and rills, domes, and grabens are also found on the moon. There are many more craters on the far side of the moon than the near side, as it is exposed to bombardment coming towards the Earth-Moon system. The formation of the moon has long presented questions to scientists as the moon is the largest satellite relative to its host planet in the solar system. One of the most favorite explanations of the formation of the moon is called the giant impact hypothesis and poses that the moon was created when a large body collided with Earth, breaking off a significant amount of material that then coalesced in orbit around Earth. Phobos and Deimos are large rocky moons of Mars that exhibit surface geology characteristic of C or D type asteroids supporting the popular hypothesis that both moons did not condense in orbit around Mars and were in fact captured from the asteroid belt later in the solar system's history. Both moons are tidally locked to Mars. The most famous surface feature of Phobos is the large Stickney Crater, while Deimos has only two named surface craters, Swift and Voltaire. Io is the innermost of Jupiter's four large Galilean moons. Io is slightly larger than the Earth's moon and has over 400 active volcanoes and is the most geologically active body in the solar system. Io is tidally locked and also has a synchronous orbit around Jupiter. 
Io's dynamically changing surface shows no impact craters and exhibits regions of many different colors due to the presence of different chemical compounds in its atmosphere, surface, and interior. Io has been imaged primarily by the Pioneer, Voyager, and Galileo missions. The final important geologic bodies in the solar system are the main asteroid belt and near-Earth asteroids. The asteroid belt lies between Mars and Jupiter, while near-Earth asteroids orbit the Sun in less circular paths, typically inside the bounds of the asteroid belt, and which all have perihelion, or closest approach, distances of at least 1.3 astronomical units from the Sun. The asteroid belt contains hundreds of thousands of small rocky bodies that were unable to condense into a planet under the gravitational influence of Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt's Kirkwood gaps occur at distances between Mars and Jupiter where no gravitationally stable orbits exist. There are three main types of asteroids, characterized by composition and appearance. C-type, or carbonaceous asteroids, are rich in carbon and have low albedo, meaning they are very non-reflective. C-type asteroids are more prevalent in the outer regions of the asteroid belt. S-type, or silicate asteroids, are composed primarily of silicates, indicating the presence of heating and reformation after their initial formation, which contributed to their relatively high albedo. These asteroids are more, more common towards the inside of the asteroid belt. M-type, or metallic asteroids, make up only 10% of all asteroids in the belt and are composed primarily of iron and nickel. It is unknown how M-type asteroids were formed, and many believe that they may be the cores of differentiated progenitor bodies that were later broken up. 